Welcome to all free BeadedJewelry.com's learning channel. Come to our website for thousands of free patterns and inspiring ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course our website to continue to receive more free patterns and crafting deals. I'm your host Mikey and ready to give you another free tutorial. So let's get started. In today's tutorial we're going to work on the Byzantine and this is chain mail effect and you can see that there's an accent and color in between all the configurations so it's three, four, three, four and so on. So today you're going to need two sets of colors if you would like to do multiple colors. You can actually change each one of these three to be different colors throughout your bracelet as well and if you're a person that doesn't care about color combinations you can just use it whatever you want. So you're just going to need a toggling uh, making sure that the actual link will actually go through your toggle system just like so and what you're going to need is two sets of pliers just like so and these have these are jewelers pliers with no teeth in, involved so I'm going to show you an easy way in order to make this particular bracelet necklace or whatever you want to do with this particular chain mail effect. So I'm grabbing another blue that's already open and I want to feed on the two that I've already closed just like so and I want to close this one here Okay, so we got one and two as the configuration. I want to put another open one through the two that are on the bottom. Just like so, and I want to get a third one and put it through the two as well. And at this point, you got two and two equaling on both sides. It doesn't really matter as long as you end up with two chains linking to three. This is near the toggle area, so you're going to have two now. This will be the toggle, and the three is now part of the configuration. And because blue is the main color, that I want to continue to working with the blue. So I'm going to put the link through the three. Okay, and just put another link through the three. So there's two all together so far. Okay, so we have just like so. So we got two and two on both sides and then what we want to do is again another link to the two and you're thinking to yourself how in the world is it going to look like what it's going to look like and it is the secret to the Byzantine is what I'm about to show you next. So you're going to put two. So at this point now you've got two linking to three, linking to two, linking to two and this here, these two here, are is what forming in between all of the color changing. So okay, so here's what we have. We have the three linking the two, linking the two, and now what we want to do is just put the, the other two that are the latest and put them on each side of each other, and we want to open up this. This is a loom pick that I'm using, and I want to come into the center, and I want to grab these circles by the actual center where they're attaching, and all I'm just going to do is pull it up like this. That look familiar? So now I want to just squeeze it with my fingers, my thumbs and my forefinger, and now this is my accenting color now. So I want to just get in one. As soon as you get in one, you can stabilize the whole thing. So you get one, and then you can put in another. So you want to do three side by side. You can just let that fall. This is actually really simple uh, when you get the hang of it. So we're, so we're putting in the final three, uh, final one of the three. And basically what we did before, so you got the three now. So you can really start to seeing that it's taking effect. And now we want to put in two blue. This is your main color. That was one and two. So these are going through all the three green. And we want to put in two blue that are attached to the other two blue. So just going in. So essentially what you're doing is once you're putting in these blue here, you're actually working backwards by the way that you're pulling it with your loom hook. You don't need a loom hook, it just it makes sense to me. So I'm going to let one ring fall on one side, the other ring fall on the back side using the loom pick. I want to open this up. It's like a flower. So 
So now you have your two, your two, and your three green. So all you just got to do is just open these blue up using your pick to open the center and then using your pick to grab just the there. And then using your fingers you can just pinch it. And this is again your accent and color in between. And again your accent and color in between all of this can be anything that you want it to be. So we want to close it so the accent and color will always have three. So in actual fact if you're laying this out um, when I did this off camera I actually laid it out so that it made sense to me so that I always had three available accenting colors already open and ready and then basically the stabilizing color the main color in between is a set of four So say you've gone as far as you want to go, so you can just put in your blue as you normally would. Throw you around your three green. And remember, it'll be a combination of two. So you put in your two blue as you normally would. And then you'll put in your other two blue. Okay, you okay, so we now we have two there going. So now we just wanna finish it. You don't have to do like I'm just trying to match it to how we started. We want to open that up. you're trying to use your fingers just try to do what I'm showing you here is kind of difficult that's why the loom hook is perfect for getting it in between because once it snaps into place you can see it just wants to open up and so then the accenting or the main color then basically is what we did here with the three down in the bottom And just like we did at the bottom then, that's the three, and so then there's the final two. like so. So to get a toggle system working through here it's impossible really to get two going through there so you're going to need to add an additional one for the end and then you can add your toggle. close it and the other side same thing you got two wrapped around there it's almost virtually impossible to get a toggle to match that so just put in one and then your final toggle on the other side and voila there you have your Byzantine chainmail system and this is actually pretty cool stuff <laughs>